document coming to you on the waves of Majesty Christian Television Network. Uh, today, we have um, an interesting uh, discussion. Uh, as you know, the Miss African Netherlands 2015 to 2016 beauty pageant is coming up very, very, very soon. And we are opportune to have uh, some of these contestants uh, to profile them, to get to know a little bit about them and what we will be expecting when they become Miss Africa Netherlands. Now we want you to know that most of the ladies, the, the African ladies, really each in this crown come the 15th of November 2015. And um, we know that this very beauty pageant is zero swimsuit. That means no bikini is allowed. The intention or the objective of Miss Africa Netherlands 2015 beauty pageant is to empower the African women in the diaspora and at the same time to bring the beauty of Africa and the culture in its diversity to make it known to other parts of the world. So that is why this beauty pageant uh, contest is very, very, very important to us all as Africans in the diaspora. So we want to use this opportunity to invite every one of you who may be listening to this broadcast to go on to Eventbrite your ticket or go to the site of the pageant so that you can get your ticket for this uh, coming event which is on the 15th of November and the venue is going to be at Het Gebau, Kotu Gebau at uh, Hoofdoro. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, the director, our CEO of the African Beauty Pageant Netherlands is also here with us, Mr. Collins. Collins, can you just say hello? <laughs> we are not seeing you, but you can say hello. hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Collins, for the good work you are doing. And uh, we have uh, uh, on our panel uh, Miss Francisca, who is also a contestant, and she is from Cameroon. Honey, can you say hello to the viewers there? Hi, how are you all? We are fine. <laughs> and uh, we also have uh, Miss Denise from Rwanda. Denise, please say hello to your viewers. Hi, uh, viewers. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> Uh, so, and we are supposed to have uh, the other ones, they may be joining uh, later on. So, welcome to uh, Majesty TV Network. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are so excited on uh, this uh, beauty pageant that it will be coming up on the 15th. Uh, <coughs> but before we zoom up, we want you to tell our audience a little bit about what you are doing presently. Okay. Yo, I start with Francisca, please. <laughs> well, my name is Francisca Nzingwasa. And uh, I graduated uh, executive secretary um, in Rotterdam. So right now I'm doing I'm doing administration at uh, Hans Anders headquarters in Corricum. Yeah, okay. So I'm doing administrative work right now at this moment. Administrative work. Yes. Oh, awesome. All Thank right. You. Tell us uh, a bit uh, about yourself, Denisa. Uh, my name is Denise Dusabe. Uh, I'm 29 currently, and uh, I started medicine. And now I'm doing um, practicing for general practitioner, so I have like less than one year left, and then I'll be what they call house arts in the Netherlands. So wow, that's what I do. <laughs> so, so you can uh, testify with us, uh, those of you who are watching this program, that this is not just uh, uh, ordinary ladies. These are beauty and brain. So Africans have really Africa have really got beauty and brain out there. So we encourage you once again, you may also give us a call on 020-337-4160 should you want to interact with these contestants. Now, um, ladies, may we know um, how you got the passion to, 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 to want to contest for this uh, uh, beauty pageant? Okay. 
Should I start? Yeah. Well, for me, um, I remember seeing all those uh, uh, like advertisements on Facebook, mm -hmm. and uh, it was for me uh, a way to like cultivate myself and to challenge myself because in the past years, I've always I've I've only seen myself as somebody who was good academically, okay. but I thought I should like um, learn other uh, talents and skills like. Um, networking, public speaking. So it was uh, it was a challenge and also a way to inspire others because uh, I've been inspired myself to reach my goals and I think it's time to start giving back. So Wow, awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah. All right. Uh, and for me, I've always been into fashion and I did, I've been doing some photo shoots um, okay. here and there. Mm -hmm. And I've been asked, oh, why, why don't you be, don't become a model or mm -hmm. why don't you go for a model agency? But to me, it, it, didn't, it wasn't my passion. So to me, Afri Miss Africa, the Netherlands goes beyond being uh, the beauty from the outside. So it yes. goes like you, your, your inner strength and what you're capable to do on the yeah. inside and what you can contribute to others. So that's what drew me to... to um, to participate in it, mm -hmm. and because I've always been uh, someone that likes to um, to help, to lend a, a helping hand to others, and go beyond myself and and inspire other people. So mm -hmm. that's why it's it was a nice opportunity to to participate in Miss Africa the Netherlands. Awesome, awesome. Yes. Uh, so, um, have you been privileged to? Or to travel to other African countries be, uh, besides Rwanda and Cameroon? I haven't been privileged to do that, but I would love to do that. Okay, mm. and you? Uh, I've lived in a few African countries. Um, like, I left Rwanda in '94 after the war. Okay. And after that, I lived for a few months in Congo and then in Kenya and lastly in Togo. So, all right. Yeah, I had awesome. the chance to see three countries. Okay, so in case you become mm -hmm. uh, Miss uh, Africa Netherlands 2015 to 2016, um, come come the, the the 15th of November. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what what are you offering to the younger women in Africa? Okay. Uh, what, what, what package are you offering? What package? Yes, okay. please. Well, like I said before, like I've had the uh, chance to be. Uh, encouraged and uh, inspired by others, like growing up here. Uh, as a teenager, it's already difficult because you get insecure and you start to question yourself what you have to offer. Mm -hmm. And for me, I found it uh, extra hard being of African descent. Yeah. I started feeling ashamed of who I was. Oh. Uh, nobody looked like me. And I started thinking like, uh, no matter how to try, I will never make it in, through, into this, this society. So. Yeah. Uh, along the way, uh, I started seeing people in the media, like uh, Obama is one of my heroes. Okay. Like he had the audacity to say like, uh, let me try this and he actually reached his goal. So for me seeing him was, um, it, it, it taught me like, no, if you work hard enough, people will give you a chance. Mm -hmm. And I think it's uh, what I can offer for the younger women of African descent here and in Africa is to show them that the sky is really the limit. If you believe in yourself and you work for it, you will achieve it. So to never give up. Okay, so, so uh, mm -hmm. you will be a sort mm -hmm. of empowering them. Yeah, showing them it can be done. It can be done. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, for what me, about you? I would like to empower um, the youth, young girls uh, in particular, to um, to tap into their gifts and talents. And I will also, if I ha if I become Miss Africa the Netherlands, I will also want to uh, create awareness for um, sexual abuse and child uh, marriage. Yeah, okay. Yes. 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 yes because I believe that that uh, that is also a subject that we really we really need to um, to create an awareness for and exactly. I think so to too. to come about like how can we tackle just those issues and in in Cameroon or in other parts of Africa mm -hmm. or even in the Netherlands as well. Yeah. So that that, that is my platform. Wow. That yeah. is so good. Well, somebody who is watching us here, this is, we are having 101 with the contestants of Miss Africa, Netherlands, 2015 to 2016 beauty pageant. And the CEO of uh, this Hope and Meet, Stark Collins, is also in the studio with us. Um, uh, we want you 
Should you have any question, please give us a call on the studio line right now, uh, 020 334 In case you are watching uh, from outside the Netherlands, please remember it's 0031 Now, uh, ladies, would you tell us who is your role model in this whole thing? Because I believe there must be somebody you want to be like. <laughs> 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 Actually, um, well, my mom, for starters, is my role mother and my gra my grandfather. Because my grandfather, um, he's of late, um, he he did a lot for his society back home in uh, in Mount Fay. He was a nurse actually. So Your grandfather. yes, my oh. grandfather, Mr. George Fosong. Yeah. Yes, he was uh, he he was like in his community. He mm -hmm. helped a lot of people and and uh, people. He helped the sick and he was a nurse. A lot of people didn't have the the, the privilege, you know, to go to the doctor or yeah. to get healed. So he helped a lot of uh, a lot of sick people in in his day. So he's my role model and awesome. yes. And I also have another role. I have a lot of it. <laughs> this is a, uh, Dr. Juanita Bynum is also one of my role models as well. Okay. Um, she's a televangelist and a very, very powerful woman of God. Yes. And she's really, she's my role model as well. Oh, okay. thank yes. you so yeah. much, Miss Francisca. Yes, yeah. tell us. Uh, well, I have a long list, actually. <laughs> like, anybody who is audacious enough to chase his dreams is actually my role model. Like, I already mentioned Obama. Okay. Uh, uh, I, there, there is uh, Mrs. Oprah Winf Winfrey. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. She came from humble beginnings and like reached whatever dream she had. Look at where she is now. Mm -hmm. uh, I have Mandela who teaches you like, despite 27 years in prison, they couldn't break his break his spirit. Exactly. So like mm -hmm. those kind of people inspire me. Like even uh, like people I meet uh, in normal life, like Miss Leila Agbedion, who also had the dream and the audacity to say like. I want to compete in the Miss Netherlands, exactly. and she yes. actually made it. So, yeah. like in everyday life, I do meet role models, and I think we can all teach each other some lessons. So Powerful, yeah. yes. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So, um, before we round up, because we just have a few minutes yeah. more, um, would you please look into the camera and uh, tell us um, what makes you think you have. <laughs> mm -hmm. What it takes <laughs> to be Miss Africa. Please look into the camera, any of the cameras, and, and tell us bluntly mm -hmm. what makes, what, what, why do you think you have to become mm -hmm. Miss Africa Netherlands okay. 2015 mm -hmm. 2016? Tell us. Okay. You want to start? Yes, I'll start. Okay. I, be mm -hmm. <laughs> I believe I have what it takes to become Miss Africa the Netherlands because I'm very passionate and I um, fight for for what I believe in and for what I stand for with a passion. And I, if I if I put my mind into something, I really accomplish it with the passion that I have. Hmm. You have heard it. Uh, you have heard it. So this is Miss Francisca uh, from Cameroon. All right. Um, one of the contestants, anyway. <laughs> uh, so, Miss uh, Dennis. Yes. Well, first of all, I must say we have powerful contestants. We are all we all have what it takes to become Miss Net uh, Afri Africa Netherlands. Uh, if I may speak about myself, uh, I'm somebody who doesn't give up, uh, who always uh, look towards uh, inspiring other people, and. Uh, yeah, that basically I like I, I never give up. So you have I never give up. I, I go until I reach my goal. So yeah. You have what it takes. I have what it takes. Oh, yes. Wow. Yes. This is awesome. <laughs> well, this has been one oh one with the contestants for Miss Africa Netherlands 2015 2016 mm. beauty pageant. Remember this event will be taking place uh, on the fifteenth of November uh, this very year. And uh, the venue is uh, Collins Come. Tell us a little bit about the venue and why you chose that place. <laughs> uh, why did you choose the, tell us the event and uh, why you chose that, uh, uh, tell us the venue and why you chose that place. Um. Actually, um, ladies and gentlemen, um, thank you very much for listening to this great interview from the few contestants that we had here from South Africa Netherlands. 
Um, actually, the event will take place on the 15th of November at Head Q2 Kebab in Hofdor. Um, the venue is one of its kind. I cannot say we have this type of venues too in the Amsterdam or um, Hofdor area. It's a venue that can accommodate us and it reflects what we are doing. It's a cultural center which tries to accommodate all different cultures we are inhabited in the Netherlands, including Africans and the rest of the world. Yes. So we are calling on each and everyone to come out and support these beautiful women who are determined to bring change to their communities and to mark their names on the sands of time. So we hope to see all of you on the 15th of November. What about For more information, yes. come on um, www.missafricanetherlands.com. Mm. You have a link taking you to where you can get your tickets to attend this event. We hope to see you all on the 15th of November. Send us an email if you have any questions and we hope to receive some questions from you in some few seconds from now. Yes, thank you so much. Right. Thank you. Now, would you please uh, uh, tell us um, uh, uh, what to expect that day? And that's our last question for you. What do we expect <laughs> to see? <laughs> well, a lot of beauty, <laughs> a lot of African beauties, you know, from uh, home device to um, places from Africa, you know, showcasing um, their talents as well, because there's this also going to be a talent round. Yeah. Yes. So you get to see that a lot of um, a lot of talent and everyone but is going to... But that's still a secret. Yeah. So, <laughs> yes. If you want to find out, come on that day. Yes, uh, you have yeah. heard it. You have heard it already. We are, we are working very hard to prepare for the show. So it's yes. going to be It's amazing. going to be a spectacle. Really. So... so. Yes. So we invite every one of you out there, please, to book a date on the 15th of uh, November for this very show. And uh, go to the website, as uh, already the director, the CEO, had uh, uh, made mention of, and uh, get all information about this. So give us a call as well on 020-337-4160. Maybe we can redirect you in case you have missed it. So thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. Being with us. us, thank you so we much. We are so privileged to have you. It was thank a pleasure you. being here. Thank you, thank and you. we wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much. <laughs> God richly bless you. So keep watching Majesty TV, and in case you miss this in the next few hours, please just go on YouTube and then uh, take it up, and then make sure you you pass this uh, broadcast to other of your relatives in any part of Europe. Let them join us on the fifteenth.